For more on this, I'm now joined in the studio by Hervé Théry, Director of Research at CREDA and former head of the International Advisory Group for the G7 Amazon Conservation Programme. Hello, thank you very much mm -hmm. for your time. First of all, what's your reaction to this announcement, uh, this $20 million fund to help uh, Amazon countries combat these fires? I have mixed it, mixed it sentiment, mixed it feelings because it's a very good thing in itself. But there's also a note of internalization of the Amazon, which is anathema for Brazilians. They have a very strong feeling, a strong fear of that happening. So it will be necessary to explain, to, to, uh, to make it less, more palatable to them. But it's probably a solution. The good thing, it will be done by the nine countries and not only Brazil. So it may dilute a, a, a bit the risk for the sovereignty of Brazil. But the people who are more afraid of internalization, more resistant uh, to that, are the military. And President Bolsonaro comes from that corporation. So it's be, it will be a bit difficult, even so, because there are strong uh, feeling against uh, between the two presidents. There have been exchange of insults. So we'll have a very a serious crisis at the moment, not only fire, but also geopolitics and diplomatic. Now, as we've been uh, reporting, there's been a huge spike in the number of fires uh, in Brazil and particularly in the Amazon. But how would you say generally uh, the situation has evolved under Jair Bolsonaro? Is it a lot worse than before? It is a lot worse. It, uh, the last month is 238 percent more than last year. But it's, all, it's even worse because there's a, the reversal of a trend. In the last 20 years, it had been a strong decreasing of uh, deforestation. It's starting around 3,000 3, uh, square kilometers per year, per year, and he came down to 5,000, which is a good thing, thanks to an initiative taken by the G7 in the 90s. So 10 years of passionate work with money from the G7 have made it possible to decrease quite constantly and strongly uh, deforestation. And this year is a, strain, a reverse of that trend and a strong, uh, aum strong uh, augment augmentation of deforestation. So what do you make of the fact that Norway and Germany have withdrawn funding that is, is crucial to, to helping the Amazon? Do you think that's really the way forward in terms of putting more pressure on Jair Bolsonaro or, or, or not effective? It's difficult to know because it was in the contract. The, the amount of money liberated each year depended on the rate of deforestation. There was every, every right to say, no, we won't put money this year because deforestation has uh, increased. The governor of the Amazonas already said he, don't, he doesn't know what to do without that money. So local authority are very much preoccupied because the state of Amazonas is a green state and wanted really to to decrease deforestation. Other states have different politics, different policies. It's a federal state. So it's different. There is no one feeling in Brazil, one government, and the president, president doesn't make everything. So probably so there will be strong tensions inside Brazil, between Brazil and France, between the G7. So if we have a bigger diplomats, we have, we'll have a full plate in those, years, in those days. <laughs> And the Amazon, of course, isn't just important in terms of biodiversity and, 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 and combating uh, climate change, mm. but also the indigenous population there, right? You're quite right. It has uh, over a million people, Indian people in Brazil, most of them living in the Amazon, and they, they need big space because they are nomadic. Uh, some of them are changing places quite often. So it's one consideration. But we must remember that the, Amazon, the Brazilian Amazon is bigger than the European Union. But it, only two-thirds of the Amazon, or the whole of the Amazon, is much, much bigger than Europe. It has different climates, different vegetation, different people, and there is room for everyone. So it would be possible to have big Indian reservation and natural reserves and soybean and whatever. But it's a strong confrontation between conflicting interests, which make it a very difficult problem to solve. So what do you think needs to be done to keep it in the headlines, so to speak? Because, of course, an issue like this gets a lot of visibility when there's a G7 and we see all these world leaders gather talking about it. But what do we need to do to, to keep addressing this issue? 
I would say that uh, on top of my 40 years experience, I can do a very good answer. I don't know <laughs> <laughs> because it's, very, it's a very diverse situation. I don't think keeping all the time in the media is possible. Uh, in the, uh, maybe a little low, lower tone would be good to have. A l there are a lot of very good experimentation already done on reforestation, on preserving the region, keeping the people inside. A lot of things have to be tried reasonably, calmly. So we, we, we cannot forget Amazon. Amazon won't be forgotten because there are other forests in the world who have been this forest without anybody noticing. In the Congo, in the Indonesia, other places. When you say Amazon, the people are interested. Maybe a little calmer time would be good and to diffuse that situation would be a good idea. All right. Well, thank you very much indeed for your time you. and your analysis, Hervé Thierry. Thank you very much.